Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here with you again from MGS Coaching Football. Uh, my brief background, this is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator as well as a head coach at both the collegiate and high school levels. So today, through MJS Coaching Football, I wanted to start to talk to you about our zone blitz coverages, okay? And so what I give you up there is the front, our base 3-4 front, which we call 50, and then just the zone blitz assignments as well as I'll go through the technique when we call small on a four-man pressure, all right? And so I have one defender here in red as the designated blitzer. So then what everybody else would do in the cover small when the backer is blitzing, whatever the blitz might be, okay? So first of all, small coverage is for a four-man inside linebacker pressure, all right? <clears throat> in this particular case, as I mentioned, the backer is blitzing, and there is no specific blitz because it doesn't matter. The backer is blitzing. It's a four-man pressure. Therefore, we're in small. I called it. The four um, people involved, whether or not they're directly involved in the blitz, it's the three defensive linemen and the backer. That's how you get four-man pressure. So if it's a pass, they're involved minimum. Even if they're not in the blitz, they're getting they're rushing the quarterback. That's how we come to the four-man pressure. Okay. So let me just talk to you about the basic premise behind our zone blitz coverage. First of all, as I tell our defense, I'm always, my first assumption is the offense not only knows we're blitzing, they know who's blitzing and where they blitzing, okay? So consequently, we have to have in, taken into account that and that somebody might be trying to replace the blitzer, okay? Now that being said, the next thing that we do is we teach them the difference in technique. So first of all, our disguise is everybody's alignments stay the same. They're one by seven outside. They're uh, up foot, inside foot's at 12. He's still five by three, five yards away from the tackle, the toe on the heel of the DN, that's the five by three. Boom, done, nothing's changing. Still orbit run support, still in stack, still sky, boom, done again, nothing changing. But the change comes in, in this form, okay? First thing, as you see here, we have some, the underneath, as I would say, some of our um, total coverage are involved in what we call hot. The rover is hot. That's why I wrote it. The d dotted line, only one, it doesn't necessarily resonate, but the rover is hot also. So both outside linebackers, both corners, and the Mike linebacker in this case are all hot defenders because the offense refers to replacing blitzes as their hot routes. So that's why we call hot defenders, okay? So the rule of thumb is what we believe to be simple. Corners are always hot on one. Outside linebackers are hot on two or three if it's a three-by-one set. And then the non-blitzing inside linebackers hot on the running back and everything. Two by two, three by one, one, two back sets, boom, done, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's simple. The safeties play quarters, so they still read number two. Okay, they react to the, the release of number two. So like just an example, if two's hard outside, he's going to zone off looking to help out with number one and possibly a wheel number two. So the zone techniques in our match quarters that our safeties play remain the same, including if two goes vertical, safety is going to play over the top and we'll end up doubling number two, okay, a little over-under technique. So how do we then now differentiate our techniques? Okay, so I'm going to start off with the two corners and the two outside linebackers. But first with the corners, we'll go outside in. We talk of them, when we're in our zone blitz coverage, small, you play man coverage with zone leverage. That is what hot means, okay? And so zone leverage means you're on top of the defender. It starts off with you reading surface for run or pass because we're not playing the man until we see its pass. So we have run support. Okay, that's the first big difference. 
Alrighty. So we want to make sure we have better run support because the coverage is still reading surface for runner pass. The next part of it, to, to, again, less risk, is keep the receiver in front of you. You know, so you can read the, the combinations potentially. Not that you're going to match. So, like, once the corner reads its pass from the surface, he's playing number one regardless of what number two does, regardless of number one does. He stays with the man. Hot means he's yours. You got him. Okay? You got him. But the bottom line is, if he's running across the field, the, the corner is running with dominant leverage on the upfield shoulder. Okay? No matter what the route, the corner follows number one once the surface confirms its pass, and he rides the upfield shoulder. Okay? The real difference here is it's still orbit. So the outside linebacker here, in this case, orbit on the right, reading the surface if he's got any doubt if it's run or pass because of the surface he's got to assume it's pass okay so if he's chasing number two and it turns out to be a run the safety can help by because he's in stack support the safety's coming from 12 the safety's got more time to read it react to it and therefore can help make the outside linebacker right if he's not sure he's got to take number two same for the row. The row is a little bit easier when it's a tight end because he's shooting hands, knocking back, and if the row wants nothing to do with him, he should be hearing pass anyway. All right, so then that kicks in and is, does his best to keep him on the line. But at a certain point when you hear pass and he turns your hips, you got to let him go. But now you got to work as hard as you can. It's not as easy for the rover to get the zone leverage, meaning the dominant leverage. Okay, that that of the four, this guy's got the toughest job doing that. But he still has potential help over the top with the safety. Okay. Now in this case, the mic, what's meant by key rush, you got running back, but right, if the running back's in the protection, now you're gonna add to the rush and it becomes a four-man rush, like our usual and match quarters. The difference, of course, if the Running backs away from you to you, it doesn't matter. The running back runs a route, you got to go get him. Tour away from you. He fits in protection. You key rush to or away from you. Okay, there's the difference. Normally, the key rush is only if the running back is on your side. In small coverage, the non blitzing linebacker is hot on the running back to or away from him. Okay, so again, quick review. Zone coverage is better run support because we line up the same outside leverage. We're reading the surface for run of patch to give us better run support. And when we're told it's pass, we play with upfield zone leverage, keep the receiver in front of us. And the safeties plays essentially the same technique as they do in our match quarters. All right. So as always, please, if you have any questions, Please feel free to reach out to me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.